optically stimulated luminescence (OSL) is a dating method that determines the length of time a sediment has been without daylight by measuring the amount of radiation absorbed by a quartz grain. It works like a clock that is set to zero when quartz is exposed to daylight, even if only for two minutes. OSL measures the amount of time the quartz grain has been without sunlight and tells us the length of time the sediment has been buried. What you're dating is the accumulation of the signal in the imperfections in the uh, lattice and the quartz. And that builds up uh, fairly steadily through time. And we can relate the, um, the amount of signal that accumulated to the time the sediment has been in the ground. This is important for archaeology because OSL can be used to date sites with an absence of organic material and provide a relative date of buried archaeological deposits. Archaeology has been previously relied on radiocarbon samples for dating sites, but often, and especially in Australia, suitable organic material does not always survive or is not present in deep time sites. So this is good for archaeology, it's very good for geomorphology, and especially in Australia where the quantities of organic sediments in a lot of our environments is very limited. For example, a buried cultural horizon of stone artefacts may not have any associated organic material, but a sequence of sediment samples can be collected above, in and below the cultural horizon to provide a relative date for deposition of stone artefacts. OSL does not provide the date at which the artifacts were made, but it dates when the artifacts were buried, which might have been immediately or several decades following artifact deposition. OSL is a really neat method when it comes to working with sediments. In the days of radiocarbon dating, you could only date sediments that had a, a sufficient organic content. And then you were dating the, de the death of an organism and you were limited to about uh, 50,000 years or in some cases 30,000 years depending on how much there were, uh, how much there was. So here we're, we're using um, uh, luminescence methods to date the sediment itself or at least to date the time at which that sediment had been buried beneath other sediments. The age range for OSL can be as little as a few years to over 1 million years Unlike radiocarbon dates, which are unreliable past 45,000 years. It's allowing us to date um, archaeology much further back in time than radiocarbon allowed. So the stories extend back to the time at, at which Australia was first settled. That's 50,000 years, 60,000 years, 70,000 years, depending on uh, where in the country you are. And, and so this is very exciting. We're able to, to uh, date back over much of the, the last glacial cycle um, in relation to people and also in relation to uh, landscapes uh, that, that people inhabited. So the length of time has increased substantially and the, the diversity of, of environments that we can date has also increased substantially.